Good morning, it's Brian here at Fitzpatrick's Garage, Dublin Road, Kildare. I want to show you this car here, which is a 2016 Hyundai Tucson, and it's what's called an executive model. Brian is my name, if you any information you want on this particular car, please do give me a call. 086-843-1945 if you want to know anything about the car if you want to know anything about financing if you want to know anything about trading in your car against this particular car please do give me a call hopefully the wind noise is not too bad because the weather is not so great today um, anyway so this car is a one owner car from brand new we serviced the car uh, all the way through its life so far uh, so the for a previous owners bought the car from ourselves and kept service history through ourselves and now they've traded the car back into us and this is nice because it is what's called the executive model so the executive model in the Tucson uh, specifically some nice features like navigation full heated leather and that kind of stuff uh, condition of the car is quite nice throughout uh, the colour of the car is what's called thunder grey so there was two colours one was micron grey one was thunder grey they're very very similar looking colours on the outside um, but the main distinction on the inside was if you got thunder grey like this you got black leather whereas if you went for micron grey you got beige leather some people prefer to go with thunder grey option because uh, in terms of ease of upkeep and all that kind of stuff so dark leather I suppose a bit easier to keep not very but sometimes it can be anyway in terms of the front of the car um, as you can see there is a nice big parking light up along through here we have our dipped headlight here our full headlight here and these in here are cornering lights so if I turn right or left this light is going to light diagonally 45 degrees that direction and there's one the other way that does the same thing as well Executives have front fog lights and then there's LED DRLs down through there. Uh, after that then there is brushed aluminium grille and then a complementary skid plate in the same colour down through along. The wheels are a 17 inch wheel and there is, uh, we actually need to get into the workshop to get the car checked over, serviced, check the brakes, check the tyres, all that kind of stuff. I'm just going to wipe the lens here for a sec because it looks like there's a big smudge of water. Um, so yeah, we're going to get into our workshop, get it checked over. Um, but in terms of condition throughout, the car is nice condition. Um, road tax for the year, 200 euros. In terms of realistic fuel efficiency, fuel efficiency on these cars, normal people are doing around six to six and a half liters per 100 kilometers, which is somewhere in the region uh, of if you're old school like me, that's about 45 or so miles per gallon. Uh, again, I'm just kind of trying to avoid the wind here at the moment, so that's why the angle of the camera work is not brilliant. And there's another big drop of water. Um, okay, so after that, as we move down through the side of the car, uh, other things we can just kind of mention real quick, I'm just going to wipe the lens again, is behind here we have anti-lock brakes, we have emergency brake assist, emergency brake distribution, all those doors have side impact protection bars. Um, looking down the side of the car, see up high on the roof there is roof rails so the roof rails are useful because they look nice but they also allow you to put roof bars from left to right windows are privacy on the rear window so they're darker the back window and the two side windows are darker than the other windows so again that's a feature on the executive model moving around to the back of the car we do have LED tail lights on this executive model parking sensors are standard across the back and actually while we're at it let's have a quick look inside in the boot no we won't because I didn't open it so let's try and open it up okay so the boot is quite good on the Tucson nice and tidy this cover comes out to reveal the size of the boot and then underneath it's one of the few cars that actually has a full size spare wheel so I would describe the condition of that boot it is three years old but I think it's in good condition overall. This little handle up here allows you to close it down. Moving around to the side, in terms of the rear of the car, these door cards are in nice condition. There is electrics for rear windows, there's chai locks for those windows, chai locks for the doors. The leather seats, uh, so you can actually recline the seats, so you can use this, and then that back section move backwards or forward, depending on what is more comfortable for your passengers. So in the rear, we've got three head restraints, three three-point safety belts. There's an armrest up through the center, the leather is in quite nice condition all the way along. There's ventilation for your rear passengers. There is also oh, there is also a fine gust of wind after coming in there. Um, so basically in terms of the size of the car, this is a headroom, so I'm about six foot. And then that's your leg room in through there as well. So it's quite reasonable. Uh, so as you're saying, a little bit of storage in through here, more storage in through here, ventilation over through here. And uh, what we'll do now is move towards the front. Uh, right, so up front, while we're here, 
electrics for windows and mirrors. The mirrors are auto folding. So what I mean by that is when you lock the car, when you lock the car, the wing mirrors come in as well. That's all. When you open it up, they come back out. So uh, in terms of the passenger seat, that is nice condition. I'm going to get out so you can see the seat I'm sitting in. So that seat is in nice condition as well. And then there's lumbar support for your lower back in through there as well. Lights are automated, so they come on at night time. Usual wiper controls in through here. There is a driver's airbag, there's a passenger airbag, there's curtain airbags down the side, there's side impact protection airbags on the side of the seat. Uh, this is the big screen that you see in the executive, so we turn that on. First of all, we got a reverse camera to go with those parking sensors, and I've also got dynamic guidelines. After that then, if I put that back into neutral, got my radio and media set up, media including a USB connector and all that kind of stuff down through there. And then in through here, I have touchscreen TomTom -tom navigation as well. Um, heating controls, so I can have different temperature for my passenger, and I can have different temperature for my driver. I've also got uh, heated seating as well, on both sides. And it's automatic, so I can set the temperature I want on either side, and then it'll automatically get me to that temperature. I've got a steering mode set up, so I can have an aggressive or more normal steering pattern. I've got hill descent control, which is more uh, snow kind of conditions. If I want. It's like cruise control going down a hill where you're not actually exceeding a speed limit, like speed limiter, but you're not using the brakes to hit the to slow you down. Auto stop start, and then parking sensors on and off. Over here, I've got cruise control with a speed limiter, and then in through here, I've got my trip computer for average speed, fuel efficiency, all that kind of stuff. As you can see, previous owner averaging around six liters per hundred kilometers, which is uh, somewhere in the region of 45 to 50 miles per gallon and Bluetooth in through here. So, I think uh, this car is in quite nice condition. Um, throughout, this is an executive, so these executives are starting to get into a nice price point. These are about 35 grand brand new. This one's a smid, well, a little bit over 20. Uh, so I think it's good out of value for money and fairness. There's a warranty on the car until 2021. There's roadside assist till 2021. Car's done about 62,000 kilometers, so we're going to put it to our workshop now and do a service on it, so about 20,000 kilometers a year, which is, you know, decent mileage. Um, we can take any trade and you have, uh, we can offer you finance on a car like this. Uh, if you're looking for a Tucson executive, um, and black leather, I suppose, because some people like the light, some people like the black, this Thunder Greys aren't that, uh, they're not that common. So, um, this might be a nice car for someone who are kind of going, I like the grey, but I don't want the light interior. Second thing is, if you're not familiar with Tucson, then just come look at it. They're a brilliant car. They do everything. Um, they have been the best-selling car in Ireland for three years in a row and for a reason being like it's not just that they do one job like they do everything for everyone they do everything for young people they do everything for middle-aged people they do things for old people they do pe things for people that want outdoor activities they do pe things for people that spend most of their time in urban areas it's just they just kind of do everything and they look nice and they hold value well and they've been really really reliable as well um, so as I was saying this is a one owner car from you we know the car we sold it uh, Brian is my name if there's any information you'd like in this particular car sorry I left the door open just because you're wondering why there's a gap there um, if you want any information on the car, please do not hesitate to give me a shout. Brian is my name. 086-843-1945. Uh, Fitzpatrick's Garage, Kildare Town. We're in operation for almost 70 years. So if you're spending a lot of money on a nice car like this, you know there's going to be a good after-sales service. Hopefully the video is useful. Thanks for taking time to watch.